Well, here we are again, guys. It's uh, weekly wrap time, and I've got Chris back on deck, so I uh, hope you had a good weekend down in Melbourne. I did. Great fun. Uh, great weekend down there. Managed to get to the Formula One, which is a, uh, uh, well, first time I've done that, so it was a great experience. Yeah, loved it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, it was... Uh... Oh, you're up here working. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Been a relatively quiet week for uh, uh, Triple Crown this week. Uh, probably one to mention was uh, a return trial by Sweet Proposal, who's been uh, who's been out for a fair while, um, out in the paddock conditioning, and uh, and uh, although tightly held, she was uh, she looked pretty good. Yeah, she did. It was lovely to see a return like that. Uh, Annabelle Neesham, horses first trial back are always soft, uh, so she wasn't asked to do much as you alluded to, but um, did it really well, did it in good fashion. Um, so she looks to have returned really well. She's been a a funny, uh, funny filly, but she's been needing to mature and uh, she certainly looks to have done that. I think she's returned in great shape. So hopefully she uh, kicks on this preparation for a really nice one. So I look forward to that second trial. Yeah, hopefully she can realise some of the potential we thought, thought she had. So um, um, I'm sure some of the owners are there uh, hoping for that too. Um, <laughs> yeah. This week, uh, I'm just about to duck out the door and head out to uh, Hawkesbury. Uh, we have Pia Ronimo going round for his second ever run. Um, he's coming back in trip a little. Um, he just struggled to settle and was a bit all over the shop um, in his debut run, but that's probably just a, a sign of needing a bit more education. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed this afternoon we see some improvement. Yeah, exactly. He, he's sort of a horse that uh well, they all learn uh, at different rates. Obviously, some are very natural, pick it up very quickly. Others, uh, it takes a bit of experience, and uh, you know, then they go and have a break and think about things and come back, and uh, you know, the penny starts to drop mm. slowly. And I think he's falling into that camp. He just doesn't know what he's doing as yet. Um, Tom Sherry on board. Uh, look, it's I wouldn't be expecting to see him shoot the lights out today, but it is experience. He's uh, as I say, he doesn't know what he's doing, but he is ready enough to to go to the races and get that experience, which will be valuable down the track. Yeah, so good luck to everyone today uh, out at Hawkesbury. Uh, tomorrow, another another that uh, where owners have been waiting a fair while um, to see their horse back on the track. Uh, we've got Seiko um, stepping out tomorrow, last race at Canberra on Good Friday. Um, he's drawn well, he's drawn mm. two. Uh, Nick seems very happy with him uh, down at Queanbeyan and uh, you know, we'd love to, he, he was banging on the door last prep without getting that um, win. Mm. It'd be great to see him uh, kick off this one uh, in winning ways. Yeah, he was banging on the door. I think it's a good description. Uh, Billy Owen on board, uh, yeah, gate two. So I think there's a lot to like there. And um, it's not notably a first up horse, uh, tends to improve into the uh, preparation with a, a run or two under the belt. but. Uh, yeah, as you say, he's been working really well, uh, expecting to run well, and um, yeah, he might be an each way chance. Mm. Uh, and pole position, uh, looked to run around on, on Saturday or sun Sunday actually, but uh, they've had a huge amount of rain up in Queensland and uh, they've moved it to the poly track on the Sunshine Coast, so he will be nominated for Dooman um, next Wednesday for his second up run. Um, he was he was pretty damn good first up, and uh, can't wait to see him uh, a little fitter and step out again. Yeah, he was excellent first up. Uh, had that race in the bag until the fitness told Blake, but uh, uh, obviously that'll bring him on a lot. And I think uh, without seeing the field, he's going to be very competitive again. And uh, who knows, might be able to go uh, that little bit better and claim the victory. But I'd love to see that with him. He's a lovely horse. Yeah, for sure. No, no. So. Um, uh, well, that's it. I said it was a quiet week, the week just gone. It's <laughs> a quiet brilliant. week coming up as well. Um, just wanted to check, make sure you all had received uh, during the week. Uh, we're having a yearling open day down at Thenford Farm. Um, and we'll, we'll get a bit of an idea about how they break in and a bit of a demonstration, followed by uh, a, a parade of our um, purchases this year. Um, and then we'll go for a bit of lunch, light lunch in the uh, beautiful homestead gardens. So, um, so if you haven't if you haven't seen that, give me a shout. But uh, yeah, we'd love to have as many of you along. We'll obviously have um, uh, you know for those that have already purchased yearling, um, to, they can check out their uh, new purchase and obviously shares available. So um, it should be good. Oh, it'd be fantastic! I love uh, getting down there. It's a spectacular property. Uh, great facilities and uh, it'll be good to see uh, 
Tim down there and, and Greg Bennett who does the breaking in for us, he's, a, he's an outstanding breaker, a really good horseman. Mm. Um, so he's been doing a great job. He loves a chat. Does love a chat. He's a good man, Greg, and um, uh, he loves what he does as well, which is which is excellent. And he's been very pleased with these uh, these yearlings that he's been breaking them in, which is good. Been getting some really good feedback. Uh, so yeah, it'd be good to see, uh, well, you know, see the yearlings, but also see what happens behind the scenes mm. as well, and check out the property and, and see what Greg does with these horses. But uh, there is one horse that uh, I thought I might mention too, which we do have shares available in, which uh, will be there on the day. Uh, that's the Tagaloa Cult, uh, a women's only syndicate that we're putting together for the Magic Millions. It's, uh, he's a very mature, sort of early looking type of horse and Tagaloa himself was a Blue Diamond winner. So uh, pedigree wise, he fits the bill and I think uh, he'll be trained by Annabelle Neesham. We're gonna target that uh, two year old Magic Millions race. Obviously it's a $3 million race. He's, he, as I say, he looks mature, looks like he could get going nice and early, so ideal to target that sort of thing. And that women's only bonus, it's half a million dollars on top. Mm. Uh, and you don't even have to win the race. <laughs> Just first ladies only across the line. That's right, that's right. So uh, I think, you know, that's, that's gone off before with horses that have been fourth, fifth, sixth over the line and uh, still win that big money. So it's uh, a great initiative. and. Uh, yeah, if you're keen to get involved, make sure you let us know, uh, whether it's for yourself, uh, if you're one of our ladies watching this, or, or for your wives, or girlfriends, uh, sisters, mothers, mothers-in-law. Uh, in fact, we've got a, a wife uh, involved, don't we? Maybe even a mother-in-law mother, mother -in -law too, so <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah. we're building a, a really lovely syndicate for, for that horse, so it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, so if you're interested, give me a shout. He's broken in now, and... Uh, He'll have a few more weeks. He'll be there for the uh, uh, day, the open day, and then he'll head off to uh, Annabelle's very soon after it. So give me a shout. Red hot tip time. Um, last week I was on my own. Yet I still had a winner. <laughs> How yeah. good. Yet you still had a winner. I, uh, I, I put forward a tip for Chris, knowing that he would probably be definitely getting on it. Uh, <laughs> Imperatriz, uh, it won. Um, so again, so I can't help but win. <laughs> again, <laughs> Even when I'm not here, yeah, paid nothing, but uh, a win's but, a win. Uh, yeah, well done, Chris. Thank you. Well done. Much um, appreciated. Very tough day. Otherwise, actually, last week I uh, I was out there and uh, you know it wasn't pretty, uh, but <laughs> um, but yeah. So I couldn't help you much more, but Chris did last week. So what have you got this week? What do I have? Well, I've got, uh, I've got plenty, Sam, um, all at Rose Hill. Starting off in race two, so nice and early in the Neville Selwood Stakes, uh, over 2,000. Stop looking at my, uh, <laughs> my tips, I don't want you stealing them. Uh, Zarek, I think, uh, is a good winning chance there. Uh, but there's a few chances, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say him for the win, but also a box trifecta uh, with Zarek. Serpentine and Renaissance Woman. So, jeez, uh, <laughs> we're getting tricky now. We we're are. actually going to have to watch away. this about five times just to make sure you've got it all. Uh, uh, get your pens ready. So, after you've got the win and the trifecta there, uh, hold your money until race seven. Vinery Stud Stakes, again over 2,000. Uh, we're going to go for Orchestral uh, for the win. The Kiwi is coming over having its first start in, uh, in Sydney. And uh, we might also box, do a box quinella <laughs> with orchestral and, uh, and Zardozzi. So um, uh, I think there's another decent collect there, Samuel. Uh, and then the following race in the Tankred Stakes, uh, 2400. I think uh, post impressionist for the win and uh, military mission will be coming in behind as a very nice place bet. So uh, could be a fill up for our viewers this weekend. <laughs> Dear, oh dear, that's getting very, very complex. So, uh, I've got three this week, all at Rose Hill, uh, two um, up against, oh no, not, not completely up against Chris. Uh, I'm race seven, the Vinery. I'm on number four, Autumn Angel. Uh, win last run, and uh, I just think she could be could be an outsider in, in that field. So uh, number four, Autumn Angel. I'm in the uh, Tancred as well, race eight, uh, and we do agree on that. Uh, on the on the quick backup after a uh, a very easy win last week over 2400 at uh, Rose Hill, 
uh, post-impressionist. Ah, the Mannion Cup winner. The Mannion Cup winner. Yes, I should, uh, have, I should have known you'd be all over that. Yeah, well, yeah. so uh, had a chat to the uh, the uh, William Haggis' son, Sam. He was uh, he was a lovely fella. So um, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, another win for him. And then uh, race ten, the Hong Kong Jockey Club Whirlpool. I'm on number three. I know a star paying seven fifty. Uh, trialed very well. First up, trialed very well. Actually, trialed against uh, Hiawatha, um, and trialed very well. So. Uh, so uh, race seven, number four, race eight, number five, and race 10, number three. You've got, uh, you'll need a maths degree to figure out what you're doing with Chris. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you get something because we haven't added much value the last couple of weeks. Speak for yourself. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, have a great weekend. Have a happy Easter. Uh, hope you're all uh, safe and well and uh, enjoy some time, hopefully with family and friends. And uh, we will talk to you next week. Have a great Easter and happy hunting. $145,000 I sell uh, bidding uh, for $145,000 Our first purchase at the Magic Millions this year was a, uh, a really smashing colt by Tagaloa a son of uh, the Japanese sire Lord Kanaloa uh, Japanese horse of the year uh, Tagaloa won the Blue Diamond he's a very precocious horse and um, I think this particular colt he looks precocious himself he looks mature and and hopefully an early runner for us. Yeah, I've seen a few Tagalos. These are the first ones um, that, that we've seen, first yearlings that have been offered, and I've been really impressed with their strength. He was, as you said, he was a Blue Diamond winner. He's group, group one winning two-year-old, and certainly that strength's coming through in his progeny. Yeah, I think this uh, particular colt, he looks like you could throw a saddle on him now and, and get going, so certainly one we'll be targeting at those early two-year-old races. And this colt's gonna be uh, a ladies-only syndicate, which uh, is a really exciting concept that Magic Millions have put together. I think it's a half a million dollar bonus uh, for the two year old race next year uh, on top of the, the three million dollar purse. So it's an exciting concept and uh, really thrilled to have Annabelle involved with this uh, with this cult as well. Yeah, certainly something I'm really keen on is the women's women's bonus. I actually, my first ever runner was here um, the first year I was training and we ran fourth in the race and picked up an extra $350,000 for winning the bonus. So it's a very lucrative um, bonus and yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up, it's only a month away, so dig deep into your pockets, boys. Yeah, we're particularly excited about this cult. Uh, as I say, he's going to be a, an early running type, so if you'd like to get involved, please get in touch with us. I'm sure he's going to be snapped up very quickly.